In this turbulent world of ours, three Abrahamic religions, Christianity, Islam, and Judaism, have dominated the Western world to the detriment of the true message from the Holy Bible. From the Worldwide Church of God in Fairfield, California. Matthew chapter 19, when he was challenged by the folk in that day who were marrying and giving in marriage and doing all kinds of things, Jesus Jesus challenged them in this regard in verse 4 and 5 of Matthew 19, where he says, Haven't you read, he replied, that at the beginning the Creator made them male and female and said, For this reason a man shall leave his father and his mother and be united to his wife, and the two shall become one flesh. So they're no longer two but one. Therefore what God has joined together, let no not, man not separate. Now, let's take a couple looks at this, because this isn't exactly what is quoted. It is quoted from the book of Genesis. But, when we go back there to Genesis chapter 2 and verse 24, this is what we read in Genesis chapter 2 and verse 24 that is written here. And then we're going to make a comparison here and hopefully understand. For this reason, man will leave his father and his mother and be united to his wife and they become one flesh. Now that's what it says. What Jesus says, though, is this. Go back and look at this in Matthew. Your creator, and if you'll take a look in the King James here, it's, it's capitalized. See, it is talking, he is talking about God. It is that he is referring to the fact that God created them for that very reason, that purpose. And they were violating the, the purpose for which God had created them as man and woman.